All right, Elon Musk's uh, Starship rocket scheduled to blast off from Texas about an hour and a half or so with a special guest in attendance, the president-elect, Donald Trump. Now, this will be the sixth uncrewed test launch of the SpaceX rocket, largest ever built. Comes after the first successful catch, as they call it, of the rocket booster that happened just last month. Here with us now, Commercial Space Technologies President George Neal uh, to talk about um, this industry, I guess. George, are you excited about space and particularly for the commercial space um, sector under President elect Trump? This is a very exciting time for the whole commercial space industry, and certainly today's launch is a big part of that. We're talking about that catch, you know, Trump, <laughs> laughing because he talks about it at a lot of his rallies. He goes over, he was obviously amazed by it. He describes the whole thing. Let's take a, a, a look at that. I want you to maybe talk about the technology, if you can, a little bit here, or, or what makes people so excited about what SpaceX uh, has been able to do, and maybe what you could add to it. This was what it looked like last month. We're now down to three Raptor engines. We can see those chopsticks. No, I don't know anything about it. I'm, I'm sure Trump doesn't really either, but it, both of us would be amazed by something like that just to watch it. It looks amazing. Um, what's going on? Absolutely. It's a huge vehicle, almost 400 feet tall. It's got twice the thrust of the Saturn V moon rocket. And the big change, it's fully reusable. And we'll see some developments during the flight test program, but that is going to fundamentally change how we do space flight in the future. And the money behind this is something else, too, right, that uh, NASA's awarded like $4 billion, they say, explicitly for uh, the development of Starship. And I would think Trump would be supportive of the industry at large. Is, would you agree with that, or do you have some concerns about how it's all going to play out, especially with Elon Musk as involved politically as he is with Trump? Well, again, this is a very exciting time for the whole commercial space industry. Uh, NASA has an important role. It's focused on trying to get... Uh, astronauts back to the moon as part of the Artemis program, and certainly SpaceX with the Starship is an important part of that. But I think it'll be interesting to see some of the policy decisions that are made going forward. Will there be an attempt to speed things up hmm. for the Artemis program, to uh, maybe simplify things, perhaps pushing aside the space launch system and Orion and the, the Gateway space station around the moon, and rely more on the Starship to simplify things and, and accelerate things going forward. No, I but think there's a lot of fair questions out. to be asked about Musk and his involvement since he's so involved directly with Trump and the transition and everything else. I mean, uh, by the way, he wants to go to Mars. What's the, what's the, how long until something like that's something we're, we're talking about? That's something that he's been talking about for many, many years. He's talking lately about potentially having some test flights to Mars two years from now, and if those go well, send people in four years. So um, hmm. his schedules tend to be optimistic, but they've done a lot of impressive things over the last years with SpaceX. Very impressive with that company. It's the same at Tesla. He'll say, you know, the autonomous driving he's promised, uh, if, you know, for years ago, but they've done some amazing things, just to your point, not always on his uh, his schedule. So I guess he could be going to Mars was right as Trump is leaving office, if that was the schedule. Thank you, George, uh, for coming out. We'll watch it here from, uh, from Texas a little bit later on uh, today. Now, Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.